Welcome to Race Face TV and today's Race Face Driver Updates. Let's get right to it as we have a huge announcement to make later in the show. We're going to start off with Race Face Next Driver Bryce Bizanson, who was at Deming Speedway in his mini sprint on Friday night where he qualified ninth, finished fourth in his heat, sending him directly into the A main. When the green flag dropped, things got a little crazy and Bryce was caught in the middle of a three-wide battle where hard contact smashed up the front wing and spun Bryce out, sending him to the back of the pack for the restart. That early wreck resulted in a chip bone and a torn ligament in Bryce's thumb. But as we know, racers are tough. He finished the race driving with one hand and managed to cross the finish line in 13th out of a 26-car field. After the race, Bryce made a trip to the ER where x-rays were taken. Now the good news is, Bryce will be back behind the wheel this weekend in both the Mini Sprint and the Legend car. Ryan Vargas was at South Boston Speedway for the Who's Your Driver Twin 100s in the NASCAR k and Pro Series East race on Saturday night. Ryan qualified 15th for the first twin and worked his way up to 10th before getting caught up in a six-car incident that ended his night in 16th. Now on to race number two. The Rev Racing number two Toyota team had to pull out a backup car, which means they had to start at the back of the pack at the drop of the green. Ryan knew he was in trouble, having issues with the car being down on power. Later, they discovered a couple of spark plug wires had fallen off but he was able to nurse the car home to an 11th place finish. Ryan currently sets in fourth in the points heading into Memphis. Race face driver Anthony Alfredo was also at South Boston Speedway for, again, the Who's Your Driver Twin 100s. Anthony qualified fifth in race one and was on the move trying to make the pass for third, but got loose and spun out. That caused a six-car pileup that took him out of the race and resulted in a 15th place finish. The MDM Motorsports team had to pull out the backup car for race two. Now, Anthony officially qualified on the pole by having the fastest lap in race one. But because they had to go to a backup car, he had to start dead last. When the green flag dropped, Anthony started his march to the front. With 20 to go, the number 40 Seco Building Systems Toyota was setting in fourth place. And with 10 to go, he had moved into second, but was four seconds behind the race leader. Coming to the white flag, he was on the bumper of race leader Chase Cabry. And they raced side by side into turn three, where Cabry spun out and Anthony took the checkers for his first career win in the NASCAR k and series, and moved him into fifth place in the championship run headed to Memphis. Now, if winning your first race wasn't enough, there was a big announcement earlier this afternoon that both race face drivers, Ryan Vargas and Anthony Alfredo, were chosen to be part of the 2018 NASCAR Next Class. Congratulations to both of you. We will be reporting more on this breaking news next week. Well, that's it for this weekend's Race Face Driver updates. Let's take a quick look at what's in store next week for your favorite Race Face Driver. Race Face Driver Jesse Love will be in the sprint car at Potoma Speedway. Adam Lemke, U.S. Western Midget Series at Kern County Raceway. Sam Mayer, the Cars Tour at Bristol Motor Speedway. Now, Sheldon Creed will be back in the ARCA series at Toledo Speedway. Now, Race Face Next drivers Colby Sokol and Justin Sokol will be at the USAC Quarter Midget Nationals in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Joe Valento will be in the Micro Sprint at Princeton Speedway. Bryce Bizanson will be in the Mini Sprint at Deming Speedway and then again in the Legends at South Sound Speedway. Well, there you have it. If you need to catch up with some shows that you might have missed, check out On Demand at RaceFace.tv or on our YouTube channel at RaceFace TV. 
please go like our Facebook page. And as always, go out and support local racing in your community, and we'll see you back here next week.